man, I picked up this cream puff, man. I seen it, and I was like, man, Richard's got to have it, I swear. Where is he? Uh, beer cooler, possibly? Oh, let me go What up? <laughs> I think you're going to like this. Is my bus here? Oh, is that how we're doing this? It's your bus. I thought it was my bus. No, 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 no. I got plans for this thing. This is rad. It's a cream puff. It's freaking straight. See, this this is uh, this is not quite as short as the short bus you had to ride in high school. That was the difference. I was figuring there's another 14. <laughs> this is rad all the way. I was hoping that it would turn out this good because in the pictures it looked this good, but you never know, you know, until you get it in person. This right. is not rusty. This is not dented. It's not beat up. I was underneath it and it's, it's just got surface rust, there's no push through rust, it is clean underneath. Dirty. This is rad. And the reason it's not rusty, it's because it's made out of aluminum. Ah. Well, she's still heavy. All right. No, uh uh. I've got a customer, uh, Canes, Chicken Fingers. You know, we built the uh, Cadillac for him? Yeah. Okay. I remember the back seat. So he wants a, like a, uh, a Canes love bus. His whole thing is one love, and yeah. you know, everybody's equal, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna make this into a love bus. Love bus. This is gonna be freaking rad, man. Get it off the trailer. Okay. Come on, Can I, I wanna get, get inside hand? it. Okay, Vince, y'all come help him get this off. This is gonna be cool. I mean, I got some good plans for this. It's gonna be a lot lower to the ground, I know that. I'm gonna put a brand new chassis underneath it. Horn doesn't work. This is fucking cool. All right, Kane's love bus, here we come. Woo! How's it looking, Chase? Dirty, very dirty. Someone lost their hat. Maybe that was the air filter. Dibs. Dude, it's got a brand new one barrel carburetor on it. What happens if you put two barrels on it? Uh, it goes twice as fast. I dig it. It's absolutely flawlessly perfect. So stay tuned. We're gonna be showing you guys the build as this goes on. We're gonna be putting out videos and we're gonna show it as it happens in real time. So make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and all of our other cool stuff. Hey, I'm talking, dude. Oh, sorry. Oh, never mind. You're older than me. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I think we're gonna try to start it. Is that okay, boss? You're just gonna piss him off. We're filling the fuel bowl with some fuel and putting a little down the carb, and it's cranking. Put the clutch in, so you don't run me over. Yeah. Ow! Oh, yeah, fire! Yeah. <laughs> hey, try it now. The nope. pedal was stuck. Yeah, the throttle stuck. It was on the floor. Try it now. Okay, try it now. Anybody got a fire extinguisher just in case it's going on? Okay, go ahead. Here we go. Okay, well at least we can drive it to where we need to park it. 
what's wrong with it? Carburetor problems? Yeah, carburetor. That's what the guy said that yeah. I bought it from. Yeah, the uh, it just yeah. needs to be carburetor. Freaking laser straight it is. Super clean. Super rad. I stole this thing too. Fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Sean gave me two hundred just to go get it. What? Yeah. God damn it! I lost the game. Uh, I really wish we had the seats, but I think it's easy. I can sell you those for ten thousand dollars. But the seats. He's back. He's tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do a diesel generator. A diesel generator that runs off the tank. We talked about possibly <laughs> like park windows, and I told you that was too 60s, 70s band. This is more like, you know, when he was Harsh. in school and I was in school, he's, you know, he's close to my age. So I said, you know, if we're going bus, don't try to go that far retro, because that's cool too. But this, it's what we grew up in. You know, this is what I went to church camp in, you know? Right. <laughs> See that. Can you make those windows power? Yep, you can chop uh, the whole bus yeah. pretty easy. But it's huh? a standard. Then when you gotta walk like this. I fucking dig it, man. Okay, so I need to do Can you stand up all the way in it? Yeah, oh well, yeah, there's plenty of head room. Especially if you're a kid. That's why I wanted to go with this too instead of the old one, is that you can't really stand it. Right. People were smaller back then. That's oh. why when you go to the antique store, the beds are real small, and you're like, why are the beds so small? People were small. Hey man, what the hell are you doing? Well, I'm enjoying a cold cerveza while contemplating this bus. What is up with the bus? All right, so we got a customer and they want a people mover slash party bus slash uh, parade type vehicle thing. Um, okay. And uh, pretty cool people. Uh, it's Todd Graves from uh, Kane's Chicken Fingers. Right. And uh, we built them that Cadillac, uh, and they even wanted to possibly have a matching trailer to tow the Cadillac with, so that they can go to different locations where they have restaurants and do things with their employees or the general public or okay. whatever. And it runs and drives a little bit. It's not really roadworthy, but I want to make it better. Can we get a like a chassis, like a bus chassis, or yeah, let's. Uh, I would. I would say let's go with like a Chevy 4500 chassis. Like a brand new 2020 with a Duramax, Allison transmission. Because realistically, all I want is the body. Right, that's all we want. This, this underneath is all old crap. I want to get it slammed. I mean, I want this step to actually hit the ground maybe. Okay. And then uh, the rest of it's just decorative. The bus is really, really nice, It's man. super straight. It's straight, it's cool. It's not rusty, it's not dented, you know. Um, the glass is flat, that's easy. Yeah, I got a guy for that. Um, I think I wanna keep this, if we can refurb it and make it work, work. Or but, what well, about a new one? Or a newer one, All but that LEDs. would be cool. Oh yeah, so you think we, if we buy the chassis, that's 75% of the work? Correct. The other percent of the work is making it run on the body, which is not that big of a deal. I mean, but we can do, go all new LEDs all the way around off a newer bus. I think we do that. We, do, we can go all crazy on it. We can have American Force get us some wheels. Oh yeah. Cause then we can use uh, big Alcoa rims and stuff, right? Yeah. So you can go, go, we can go 24s, a little bit more streetable tire. So I need like to be cushy enough though. Do the chassis come with an uh, air ride? They don't come air ride because if we go air ride, then we'd have to go air brakes, then you need a CDL. Do not want to do that. Correct. They want to be able to have their marketing person drive this and what have you. Correct. But so, I'm thinking that the weight of the body will make this thing ride pretty cush. 
Oh, you think so? Yeah. There we go. Half the work's already done. There's no seats. Well, we need seats. And uh, I talked to him in, in great length about um, the seats. And I think we want to go back with very similar to factory, okay. but build them out with some bolstering and, and make them real cool with leather and all that kind of stuff. But if, you don't want to lose seating and right. you don't want like the big U-shaped couch where you're stepping all over everybody to get from the front to the back and stuff like that. Right. So I think we go with stock seating configuration. So the Bluebird All-American buses, they have bolstered seats already, kind of like a coach bus would be like if you were to go run down to Austin in well, those big coach buses. They, yeah. They're all bolstered, bolstered out. So all we have to do is recover them with leather. Can we buy those, you know, just seats? Yeah, we can just get seats and foams and then just get a skin for a pattern. So LEDs, I think lose all the little reflectors, slim all this down, yep, the get new the ones, ones that sit in like that, yep. that are LED, that'd be rad. And then the new LEDs for the, these markers, they're just little one inch round LED lights. So this reel is just super sleek. Yeah, we want all that like real trimmed out and real, real slick and I think this is gonna be fucking rad, yeah, This is gonna be super cool. What about the suspension? I mean, we don't, I don't think they wanna mess with air ride moving up and down. Yeah. We just wanna get it at an aggressive stance and fill those wheel wells up. Yeah, if we can do a decent static drop that'll still ride okay. What about this though? That's the only thing we gotta worry about is when you go up an incline or something, that thing rubbing. Cause you don't want that thing to rip off cause it'll take all the sheet metal with it. Well, do we wanna raise it up? I don't know. How far is my head from the deal? Well, you're already hidden. Probably not. We probably don't want to go much higher, much higher than that. Well, I know, but what about the, the automatic step? We so could we do raise that it like out of an RV. Automatic step, like an RV. Right, and just shorten the door. Yeah. Hello. It's very echoey in there. So uh, that's my plan, man. You? Yeah, and then, we, and then we could always just throw the dash from the, the truck in there. And you Can got that be all modern in the front? All modern in the front, nice steering wheel. You got all your brake pedal, your gas pedal, all the newer. And you then they'll it. be able to service it, right? Right, yeah. So they can just roll into any Chevy dealership. Yep, they just plug in the OBD2 port and That's service what it. I want. All right, find me a chassis and let's go buy one. All right, Tony. I said you find me a, are you trying to pass your work off to Tony? Tony's got a guy. Everybody's got a guy. What'd you find? So I got with Tony's guy. They're at Huffines in Louisville, so 20 minutes up the road. They got one, it's gonna cost us about 50 grand out the door. But that's brand new wheels, or brand new suspension, brand well, it's new a whole motor, truck, right? it's a whole truck. Comes we with go, a cab and everything. So we go pick it up and drive we it Drive here. it back. And then it'll still be warrantied uh, just because we have this bus body. Correct, it'll still be warrantied as long as it, none of our modifications are the failure point. Kick ass. Well, 50 grand. I guess that's what we're spending. Let's go get it. I'm Truth. ready. Dabby, throw out some money. <laughs> I need some cash. All right, I got your bill to sell here, your buyer's order, and the check. Where's my truck? Does it work? <laughs> so this is it. This is it. Yeah. Be a lot prettier when you guys get that one. You won't even recognize it. So you're good with all this, right, Chase? Tanks, I guess. The tank, the tanks we can change. We can put the tank. We can just use so run that back diesel tank. Diesel and def. We got to run def on this. Yeah, def's up underneath the hood. You got two tanks. So, but we're probably just gonna end up running that back tank because we're gonna have to shorten it here. Super cool. It should be up under the hood, I believe. Or is it up here? Oh, they put the fill on the 4500. It's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And it's diesel. Diesel. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Yup. Perfect. Not really. Not really. All right, my man, we'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. You need anything else from me? I need a few couple seconds from somebody. Okay. All right, so we're going to end up taking that middle tank out. We're going to shorten and section that frame right about here so it'll fit our wheelbase. And then we may or may not hack the firewall out of it 
and just retrofit the whole dash, everything in it. That means you got brand new engine, brand new trans, brand new gauge cluster. You got your seven inch display with all your, your Apple CarPlay, all that stuff on it. So we'll be ready to rock and roll. This thing will be brand new. Should everything just fit like no. off the bat? No, it won't fit off the bat, but we'll make it fit. But the frame width is exactly the same. We're gonna shorten our wheelbase to make it what the bus is and we'll be ready to roll. Put the body on it, see where we need to make adjustments. And the body will go on and off about five or six times. What's gonna be the biggest pain in the ass getting this to fit right? The check I just had to write, $50,000. And then my pain in the <laughs> ass is getting, the, getting that body off the old chassis and putting it on this one safely without tipping it over. Because then we're back to square one. So. Have you built anything this, this big? No. Before? Now this will be this will be the biggest one I've done, and probably the biggest one Gas Monkey's done. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So we're gonna put this bus on this chassis. Yep. Kick ass. So there you go, everybody. This is gonna be Gas Monkey's first full build on the interwebs. Uh, we're gonna be showing it to you uh, uh, daily, weekly, I don't know, the millennials work out the schedule. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and make sure you're following us at gasmonkeygarage.com. We're gonna build some badass vehicles. You wanted to see it, you asked for it, you're getting it. Woo!